Oh, the, oh, let me find out. The Rudy looks nice. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I look like a turnip, but there's a reason for that. Well, there's no reason for that, but I'm gonna fix that. You hear me crying in the background. I'm on the phone with my Tootsie girl. They're so similar, we gotta do something about that. Also, she's screaming her little head off because she's hungry. Give us a second. guys she's not in no talking with me right now she's mad okay i'm about to warm this milk up for her go mommy she sounds like a little dog oh my god don't say that about her <laughs> you guys her sister said she sounds like a little duck think of her as background noise right now the girl does not sound like no duck i don't know but ducks have this weird black and it sounds like that. That's what it sounds like a little bit. Girl, a quack. One thing's for sure and two things for certain. She's gonna cry like the world is ending and like I'm not feeding her. She woke up. So I bought these new pajamas. So cute. I'm in my cute mom era. Okay? And I bought these new pajamas. They're so cute. This morning I woke up. I'm leaking like a faucet. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, I can't win. But the good thing about these new pajamas is that I'm able to put my breast pump in them. Like it holds them up. And I gave her some boobs this morning. The embarrassment, Mia! Mimi! Chuki girl! I have her bottle and the bottle warmer going, so trust and believe I'm not over here starving the girl. I'm just a girl in the world. Obviously, we have a lot going on here and we are trying to get the morning started. Thankfully, I've pumped and everything. So I have some milk warming up that I'm gonna give her right now and she's gonna go down for her first morning nap. Her little outfit is so cute, by the way. So I'm gonna pick her up and show it to you guys. Tour Lele Water. God. Um, her her little outfit today, she's wearing a zero to three month set. And so far, I've barely been sprinkling the zero to three month sets in here and there because they're a little big on her. And you'll see from the top here. But I was just going through and I'm like, you know, today is Sunday. Let's put her in a cute little bed. She looks so cute. But you can tell that it's big on her because of the top. But look at the pants. She has a Y left in them. Hi, girl. Say, say good morning to the people. Excuse no? me. You see how she was um, crying hysterically? And the moment I pick her up, she stops. I mean, obviously, babies like comfort or whatever. But also... Hey. I've never I have the, the her bottle open in there because I was trying to use a needle to kind of I'm clearly not learning pierce the, the, the thing a little bit more because I'm trying to pull through it and it just feels a little bit hard to me hi Bobby hi Bobby girl and, and her little her little bit matches I'm not gonna lie baby's crying one, it's the cutest thing, but it's also the saddest thing ever. Something's annoying. I don't think they're annoying. Well, yeah, you don't. Most people do. You think? Like, multiple and multiple, like... Obviously, those are those are the sentiments you share. You think babies crying are annoying me. Listen to that and remember that, okay? She thinks you're annoying. I like Mia's crying. It sounds like a little duck, and I find it funny. She does not sound like a little duck. No, like, you know, the girl. Quack, quack, you guys, quack. she's ruthless. Ducks quack. This girl is not quacking. No, I never said she's quacking. Oh, my goodness. It's when she's like, ah, like, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Oh, now that you now that you made that sound, I think I think you might be onto something. Okay. Mimi, you sound like a butter duck, my love. Listen, thank God for things like bottle warmers. And my past productive self is thanking me right now because one thing I made sure that I went through and I did was that I prepared her bottles ahead of time. So when we woke up and she was screaming her little head off or something along those lines, the food would be ready. This Philips Avon bottle, I literally just started using this one. 
because it's the whole time it's been a stage two nipple and I can't believe I didn't start using it yet because she's about to you know she's almost at four ounces like she's drinking four ounces and she's about to not be able to use it anymore hi sweetie hi sweetie beady food we want to preserve this outfit we want it to last all day okay we're manifesting that I love how you like acting like I'm not feeding you. Hmm? Hey, sweetie. Mm -hmm. So good, huh? It, you see, when she's when she's crying like this and she just starts eating she's eating it so quickly sometimes she she has to like cough like she's choking a little bit because the girl refuses to take her time this bottle is so cute though anyways you guys i'm gonna feed her and try to get her down so i can want to fix my hair and look like somebody up in here before the breast milk dries on my on my cute pajama top it's black so obviously you're gonna be able to see the white breast milk remnants <gasps> I didn't even get to enjoy it yet, but never fair. I have a few more new pairs coming in the mail, so I'm excited for them. This one just came extremely early. I got it last night. I put it on same time last night, which is dangerous, okay? So right now, even when I'm going to, like, breastfeed her, I have to, um, I'm thoroughly wiping the booby off before I give it to her. But I really wanted to wear it last night. The moment I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, this is so cute. I have to wear this. But when the rest come, I naturally, I'll wash these things before I wear them just because, you know. But, um, yeah, we're about to, we're about to go. We're about to go feed my babies and, um, get my life together today. Hi, y'all. Um, I'm done straightening my hair. So, this is where we're at right now. I want to put the waist trainer on. I feel good. And, um, we're currently in the living room. So, diaper caddy, we're going to put it there. I'm not sure what it is that I want to eat, but I don't want to be abusing the banana pancakes every day because I found it and I like it. I feel like I'm doing too much. I want to make something something substantial though because naturally when I eat breakfast, especially when I eat it late, right now it's 10.23 and it's not too late, but when I eat breakfast and when I eat it late, I don't typically eat again until like later on but i definitely need to cook something today because the food that i made is just done what do i have that i season what is that i'm gonna tell you guys i have some pork spare ribs that i seasoned and we're gonna make that um i'm back in my cooking era which is really good the problem that i was having during my pregnancy was that um well, i either did not feel like cooking or when i did cook i couldn't eat the food it was just a whole thing you know how pregnancy works and so right now where i'm not pregnant anymore and the smell of things do not trigger or bother me i'm very excited to be cooking again and like eating healthier and stuff like that when i go back to work i think i am going to continue wearing the waist trainer especially at nights because i'm going to be asleep throughout the day so i think i am going to continue wearing the waist trainer with me at nights too because i do want to continue feeling really good about myself and if the waist trainer is going to do anything at all i don't know that it does anything but i also don't know that it doesn't do anything and so we're gonna find out um what's the worst that could happen nothing at all really it could only benefit me if it does work i need to make something and take my vitamins as we're on the topic of the vitamin i have the worst memory known to man and if you know me personally you know that i can't remember anything for anything at all and i was talking to my sister the other day and she spoke about ginkgo biloba she said that when she was working at the law firm one of her friends was telling her that you know girl you're not remembering stuff you need some ginkgo biloba and i'm like i need some ginkgo biloba I can't remember anything if anybody needs that it's gonna be me and so i went on amazon and i bought it and i took the first one last night obviously i can't tell you guys if i feel any different or if i'm remembering anymore i don't really know because obviously i'm just taking it um since last night but the bottle has it's one a day the bottle has 100 capsules in there so maybe we'll report back at the end of this bottle and see where we're at or like in a month or so hey siri Remind me in a month to update my vlog on how the Ginkgo Biloba has changed anything, if it has. She 
set the reminder so we're all good to go but um yeah i don't know if it's gonna do anything but i want to try and see so right now i just have to put the aluminum foil over the stove because i always do that before i cook because it makes the cleanup easier and last night i went through and i washed the burners and everything so that's great those are ready to go i just need to put the aluminum foil put those back on there um wash two bottles for mia that we used this morning and then um and then what I need to make something to eat and take my vitamins, obviously. Priority. But, um, yeah. I can wash her bottles right now since I'm already standing here. I'm going to go in the living room and give her some boob so she can go back to sleep. And I'm here. So, I will, I will come back later. It really is just the simple things in life that matters. Like. A mail opener. Oh. Let me find out. The booty looks nice. <laughs> Let me see if this is some money these people are running me. Because I'm broke as a joke right now. <laughs> is it money? Is it money? No money. Oh. So far, I've managed to put me down and done a few things for myself. I made some cereal for breakfast. I was gonna do a whole thing, but I didn't even bother. Anyways, I'm thinking I'm going to put the pork that I'm planning to cook in the crock pot because I really like how I cooked the meat yesterday, but I also want to put it in there and cook it for, um, I think maybe about Yesterday I did 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and the meat was really good falling off of the bone and everything. But this I want even the bone to be soft. So I think I'm going to pressure it for about an hour. So I'm going to start that in a little second here. But I just went downstairs because I thought Amazon sent me a notification that my package is going to be delivered. Turns out they're saying it shipped. Also, I should be getting a package today because my fridge is the white fridge. You live where you live and it is what it is. I'm not going to go out and buy a whole new refrigerator. What I can do is make the one that's in here look nice. Made some sweet mashed potato. The whatever I said that meat was pork, whatever. I have some rice in the rice cooker. All of that is going to be dinner. I have some silver contact paper. I had expressed this morning that my fridge is white and I wanted to get some silver contact paper to see if I could zhuzh it up a little bit um, in the most inexpensive way, of course. So we're going to try this silver contact paper and see how it works out. So it's going to just look like, I guess, stainless steel, essentially. Obviously, it's a little bit shinier than that, but, you know, stainless steel is the wipe off, yada, yada, yada. The whole, the section is backlit, so I don't know how you guys are going to be able to see it. So guys, this is what it looks like. The difference between the top and the bottom. Obviously, I did it where it met in the middle. I would have met anyways, whether I did it the other way. And then the bottom, I didn't have enough because I only bought one. I bought one roll mainly because I didn't know how it would have turned out. So I'm going to go on Amazon right now and buy another roll and finish the other half of it tomorrow. But so far, it looks really good. I'm, I forgot what I was saying. Ginkgo Biloba hasn't started working yet because I'm supposed to remember. Now, here we are. I don't know about anybody else, but I cannot be a hoarder. If I don't have to have it, then I'm throwing it away. Really? I don't know about that. Probably should have kept this on. I just updated my Amazon storefront and I included a picture of my hair and a video of my hair using the straightener. The straightener is linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you guys are interested in purchasing, the Amazon storefront is linked down below where you can shop from. And I have a lot of good things that I talk about in. I'm going to add the Ginkgo Biloba too. But I have to create one that's like wellness or whatever. Put the Ginkgo Biloba on there. Now you have to do your own research about everything that you're putting into your own body. But I'm just sharing the things that I use and have used and have bought in my life and how they've worked for me. Does not mean that they're going to work the same for you. Um, but, you know, do with that what you will. I'll see you guys later again.